What is up everybody? Welcome to the 16th financial plotting tutorial with Python and Matplotlib. I am your host, Mr. Centdex, and let's get started. So where we left off, we got this um, simple moving average, a couple simple moving average lines going on in the 26 and 12. Um, we've decided that those need to be uh, color changed, line thickness changed. Wow, that was some serious zoom. Um, and then also we notice this little gap here in our volume just looks unprofessional so we're gonna go ahead and fix that as well so let's go ahead and hop into that and uh, get started so let's just scroll up to the top orient ourselves you know the deal so let's go down now that we've been oriented and scrolled all the way up let's scroll all the way down um, first thing I want to do is underneath here let's define a couple labels so we'll just say label, actually let's undercase this, label 1, label 2. Label 1 and 2 are going to correspond to the string version of MA, oops, MA1 plus, and then just like a pseudo space basically, <laughs> SMA. And then we'll do the same thing for the one below, just using MA2. And now we have our labels, although they're not actually doing anything, but they're at least stored to variable. So now the next thing we want to do is come down to our actual plot here. So that's these. And we want to add in a few things. So the first thing that we need is um, some color to both of these. So in this one, uh, we're going to change to a, um, I think actually, yeah, let's, let's take this spine color there and then we want to say what is the label of this line well it's AB1 right so which one was AB1 well MA1 label 1 so label equals label 1 and then for line width let's make them a little thicker because uh, they're kind of hard to see last time so we'll say 1.5 the default is 1 so we're going to copy this and paste it save ourselves some time, change this to label 2, and then for the color, uh, we'll do E1, E, D, F, 9. And save that, run it, and here we have a little bit better chart. Uh, you guys can play around with the color if you're, you know, just not happy with my color choice. Let's zoom into a specific spot here. Okay, so now you can see that we've got, you know, our simple moving average line, and, you know, it's at least a I don't know, a decent color. Um, so now the only thing, oh, okay, right. So we've got volume, and then we want to add the, um, the legend. So let's fix this volume issue first. So where is it? Volume in. So instead of volume in equals, you know, whatever the minimum of volume, um, we already know what the minimum volume could even possibly be, and that's zero. <laughs> so save that, run it again. And now you can see that, yeah, sure enough, this thing is like fixed. You know, we don't have that issue anymore. So that's good. Um, let's see. Now, the only other thing we want to do is add a legend. So that's pretty simple. So let's close out of this and come up to AX1 here. Underneath the label, we'll just say uh, plt plt.legend. Whoa. I don't know what the heck happened there. I brought up a bunch of stuff. That was odd. Anyway, legend. And I got all lost stuff here. Okay, well, anyway, location three. Um, that's like the lower left. Um, the other thing I want to do, well, we'll get to that in a second. Fancy box. It's just kind of the cur curved edges, basically, the fancy box. And then. Um, I guess that's it. Let's see how this looks at the moment. Okay, so here we have uh, the chart. We've got line, the simple moving average. We've got our legend. Um, the only thing that bothers me about our legend is it's a little big, right? Like most people just want to glance at the legend and that's it. So we kind of need to make our legend maybe smaller. So the way that we can do that is um, add in another variable here, prop 
equals curly braces, not square, curly braces. And then we're just going to change size to 7. And this will just change the font size to 7. Don't forget your comma after it. Now we'll run it. And sure enough, now it's kind of a smaller one. It's not so, like, massive. And now let's zoom into a spot. And as you can see, now we're, you know, all set again. So now that we've done that, I think that our simple moving average quest is complete. The only thing that is kind of hard to do is read the color of the line on, on here. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, the other thing you might notice is, like like I was saying about the starting point, um, obviously we've got data happening, and then it starts, right? So we needed that 26 points of data before it could even start. You can do what I did earlier uh, with minus uh, SP, right? You can add that um, to the candlestick um, data. Uh, so it so it does the same thing right so you're not plotting the same data so like in this case it didn't really matter because you almost didn't even notice it probably until I zoomed in like I didn't even really notice it but like let's say you have a smaller data set like let's say you only you only have like a month and you want to apply or like three months and you want to apply the same stuff it's gonna look more like this it's gonna be like well that's kind of lame you know <laughs> like, that's weird so uh, what you can do is is just add that um, same thing to this, right? So minus SP colon to the candlestick. And now when we run it, uh, the data should be aligned. So bring it over. Yeah, sure enough, uh, the data doesn't start until, you know, they all start at the same point. So that's kind of nice. Um, yeah. So anyways, um, that should be everything for simple moving averages. Again, I'm not too happy with these colors. I'll have to play around with them so it looks kind of goofy right now. But that's not the point. The point is to teach you guys simple moving averages. So now you know how to make simple moving average with um, within your chart. And probably in the next tutorial, I'm thinking we'll do the RSI indicator next. But we'll just see what I feel like doing. So as always, um, thank you for your support. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thanks for watching, and until next time.